This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Tired of missing out on figures or paying scalper prices at toy stores? Then go ahead and visit DJC Collectibles, my sponsor. You can get 10% on anything Transformers, accumulate points, and sometimes score an exclusive figure you thought you'd miss forever. Head over to DJC Collectibles and start saving today. Hi everyone, my name is Razzy LK, and today I'm back with something I've been waiting for for a year. And I'm super excited, and it's really big. So today I'm gonna review, no, not you, this, Fortress Maximus from Titan's Return. And funny story about this thing, I saw it in stores before this one, he said, before this one was born, I scanned this box, or this figure, to be part of the shower gift that people could buy to protect the kid before he was born. So that was seven years ago. And now, uh, they reissued it and I got it from DJC Collectibles. Thanks, Derek. So there you go. And <laughs> what the? So I'm gonna review this and I'm super happy. He's the only character from season four that I actually really enjoyed as a kid. Uh, because of the, it's not because of the headmaster gimmick per se, but I like the idea of that. Uh, you know, having like his head transforming into a robot and then the robot's head transforming into a... <laughs> your, okay. Anyway, so he's, he's the... I don't care about the other season 4 characters. I just like this one. So now I got it. And don't have kids, people. Alright. And now let's roll the intro. Booyah! He was supposed to say something. The Decepticons have my son, Cerebros. Lord only knows what they're doing to him right now. <sighs> Very well. Okay, so there's no easy way to shoot a Titan. I'm gonna try not to play too much with the camera. But he is taller than the Siege Omega Supreme by at least a head. So, and he's way taller than my um, Cyan Culture uh, Metroplex. But I'll show you some comparison. But this guy is huge. So we're missing out. I mean, I'm I paid the same price for this than I did the Siege Omega uh, uh, Guardian robot. And I think there's more plastic in this one. Now I'd have to, you know, weight it and everything, but I don't do that. Uh, cuz really I don't care. I like the character and I think I got my money's worth even if I, you know, it was half price 6 years ago. Uh, or maybe you know two thirds of the price six years ago, but it's 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 to me it's worth it. So yeah, there's a sticker sheet. So I'll apply it before I do the rest of the review. I'll apply those, and there's a card. Titan returns. From what I understand, that was standard. So you have uh, you have both the stats for Cerebros and Fortress Maximus. So. Um, it might be nice if they bring that back. I mean, Kingdom had a version of this, but, eh. And then you have the sheet of instruction. Like, it's a huge pamphlet. And they do have a description as to where the stickers are going. So, I think that's pretty neat. So, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to apply these stickers. And, uh... I'll uh, show you all the colors, molded details, articulation. I might do some handheld shots. Not sure yet. What are you looking for? There! Give me a boost, will you? Ow! Okay, uh, we're, I don't know, four days later now. Uh, it took me 30 minutes or maybe an hour to apply the decals. And then I just got too busy and couldn't get to finishing the review. So... Yeah, it's, uh, it's been fun. There's a lot of decals, and if I want to do a good job, I think I'm going to have to handheld this. Just to show the decals. Yeah, okay, hold on. Which means now I can use the machines to rebuild this city. Into what? 
You're gonna find out, cause you're gonna be part of it. Okay, so I'll do, I'll really try to do the best I can. Uh, you have, uh, on the top here, you have a decal uh, right here. And then you have this little one here. Uh, you have on the top of the shoulder, you add this. Here you have two decals uh, on the shoulder here. Then moving on to this section, you have uh, everything that you see that is golden, that thing. Uh, then you have uh, th that design, you have the Autobot logo. Uh, here, oh yeah, inside here. That be uh, instruction didn't really do a good job at showing, um, but there's a decal here, right there. Uh, that was fun to find. Uh, what else? You have the crotch area who has decals, and then the legs. You have this the red stuff. Uh, the the toes right here. Uh, and then if you go down the legs, you have one on top of the foot, and then you have one here, which, whatever decal this is, that's not what is shown on the images. Uh, if you look on the images, that's not the same design. Uh, but I don't care, I mean, it looks good anyway, so no, no, uh, no deal breaker. Um... On the side, you have here and a matching one on the other side. You have uh, on the connector here. And I think that's really cool that that's the same connectors. Because I didn't know what type of connectors they used for bases. Because, uh, I mean, in Siege and Earthrise and uh, Legacy, you have those. Uh, and then the fact that, you know, I, I can plug this with my Omega Supreme and garden and everything that's that's very interesting i might do that just to show uh you have uh sorry here the metal uh, plates uh right here uh go down all the way down here uh and on the track well or what's going to be the track you have all those uh, little silver highlights they look really good and oh yeah you have all the uh the circles here have uh little uh, blue metallic decals or like clone with uh, cl not clone chrome with a little blue uh highlight around it same thing for the back of the leg right here so you have all of these uh there's a little autobot logo on uh the um uh what's his name uh cerebro uh, inside I'll show you later and also forgot to show the uh, cannons have uh, blue decals uh, they get one each so there you go and if you lift this actually and uh, you don't see it on this one you see it here that ramp has the silver arrows and they have some more there and that's pretty much it so just wanted to get around to show you all the uh, the decals now let's do uh, articulation for the robot mode decepticons prepare to face fortress maximus i haven't had much chance to play with this but what you have you do have you don't have a rope well no you do you have a rotation at the head, um, left and right. You don't have an up and down. Um, you have probably a Ferris wheel. Uh, it extends like this. Uh, I'm going to guess both sides. You do have a rotation underneath the bicep. You have your more than 90 band you have a twist at the hand and then you have a movement here and then you have individual uh yeah individual fingers but they only have one connection here like this doesn't bend more but it's really cool that they 
have individual stuff. I mean, Omega Supreme doesn't have hands, so I, I, I never knew that they would do something like that for Titans. Uh, so that's pretty cool. You do have your, oh, not here, here. Your, let's lift this, your merry-go-round. All around. Ah, oh, the leg, the head popped off. Let's fix that later. Okay. So you have that. Now, just for... You do have a rotation at the leg that if it wasn't for that little thing here uh, it would go all around then you have your do you yeah you do you have a knee band like this and then you have well because of the the way it transforms you have like a kind of a you know toe tilt i guess oh yeah you have uh, stickers here underneath forgot that and but you don't have no you don't have a rocker or another type of uh, toe tilt do you have an ab crunch technically oh yeah well yeah not an ab crunch but you do have a uh, kick forward kick back I, I'm not good at reviewing Titan. Do it. I like this. Um, he has enough articulation for me to enjoy, you know, posing him. Uh, not that I would. You know, he's gonna go on a shelf somewhere. Like, and I have a Jinbao Predaking coming. I have no clue where I'm going to put all this. It's, it's, it's absolutely insane. Um, actually, put that in the comment. I like to keep my stuff by season, but that's probably going to be impossible to do now. So, how do you guys display your Titans? Do you just keep them with their season, or you go and just do a top shelf full of Titans? I've seen a lot of those, but... I'd like to keep my my stuff, you know, by season. So anyway, just let me know. All right, uh, so that's articulation. Let's do some comparison with other Titans. Okay? okay, so we see him here next to Generation Selects Guardian Robot. And actually, you know, my Patriot Supreme. And he's like a head and shoulder taller, man. I did not know that these Titans were that big back then. And I hear that the Metroplex that came before him is even uh, bigger. So, yeah. I like that. I, I like that he's really big. Because to me, this is the biggest Titan. Just for kicks, Siege Omega Supreme. And this is the Cyan Culture Metroplex. And I know he's shorter. And, you know, because he's a legend scale Titan. But he's fantastic. I love him. Uh, the only thing... I, to me, this scales kind of work because I always thought as a kid that Fortress Maximus was way taller than Metroplex for some reason. Uh, so, yeah, kid me is okay with this. And this is something I wanted to check. The Jinbao uh, oversized uh, Devastator with the 2.0 upgrade kit. And I did not expect uh, Fortress Maximus to be taller than that. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Okay, and now let's uh, put him in one of his modes, his base mode, or rolling platform or, or whatever mode. Kiss your afterburners goodbye, Decepticon Slime! Figured I'd review Cerebro's first, because he's smaller. Just get him out of the way, and then, you know. Uh, good looking head. Uh, you have the smaller head here. Uh, which is, you know, cartoon accurate. Very small, because that's also another guy. Can't remember his name, but anyway. So you have the, the, the head, you have the pin articulation. How do you transform him is by removing the feet, like this, and then twisting this, like that, and then pulling the legs out, like this. 
and I guess squeezing this back like that. Uh, yep, there's pegs here uh, for the shoulder. There you go. One, two, and then you have, I guess, a cover for the back of the head. And then there's a screw there. Is that it? Just leave it kind of weird. Oh, no, I guess you could put that down to make him with bigger feet. So there you go. I don't have a gun though. I don't have a gun. Let me hold on. There's lights and sound. What? No way. No. Come on. How did I not know about this? Let's get this out of the way. And this. And this. Oh my god, there is. I had, wow, wow. I had no idea. I saw it in the instructions. I'm like, no way. No way. But then, yeah, there is way. How does this go? Okay. Uh, put Clip that back in. Okay, well, this is how you install batteries. Oh, my God, it does the sound. Oh, my God. No, no, not true. Oh, my God, this is so epic. Oh, my God, I do not own any transformers that do anything. Remote like, like this. This is so freaking awesome. Oh my god. Okay, so when I unclip, where, where's the clip? This, this one. Oh my god, this is so cool. This is so cool. Hold on. So when you, oh man. Oh man, this is, okay. This is the coolest robot I own right now. And then with the whole face on the robot, and it's going to be so freaking cool. Wow. Wow. Oh, my God. This is so cool. Wow. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's, let's, let's. Uh, you can pull on this to have a... Titan Master or you know whatever uh, Nebulons there was so Headmasters I never liked Headmasters except for this guy but yeah and then oh you do have a little head rotation that's cool uh, you have arms that move and then you have like legs I guess so let's put him back in this mode Wow. I know I'm not supposed to leave that battery in, but man. Man, this is cool. Okay. Wow. Okay, let's let's go back to transforming uh, Fort Max. Watch this, Scrap for Brains! Okay, sorry, you can only see half my face, or, you know, not even. But instead, you have this pretty one. So, this is to me the throwaway mode. So basically, any triple changer, you're gonna have a mode that's not as good as the other. This is the one here. I mean, there's no way to cover the legs. You can't cover it. The fists are showing underneath, okay? Um, but it's still fun. I mean, he brought in his little uh, Minicon or uh, or you know little things and then you can have the little uh, Titan master or headmaster or whatever uh, you can have him you know run around or maybe uh, you know if you open this up and now well maybe you know I'll twist it around oh that's not good 
so now you have um, whatever his name is uh, you can have him here manning the guns so that's you can't really see it hold on uh, but I, uh, there it is so that's that's pretty cool you know it's a cool little gimmick but it's not it's not the greatest it's not the greatest mode I mean you do have the ability now to you know aim the cannons uh, this is from what I remember this is the spaceship mode so you have the whole command bay here and now yeah you do have the sound that I discovered so you know so but mine doesn't go fully in so it's kind of annoying but you know that's the, the, the command center um, so yeah so you have a little platform so you can fly and then in the back here you have the platform where you you know you can have little target masters or whatever uh, roll in and out so there you go it takes too much space I mean if if somebody was crazy enough or willing enough to spend to buy three of those to have one in each mode uh, I respect that but this is hard to display you know um, so yeah yeah now okay yeah. all right so there you go so here's the spaceship mode so now I'm gonna put him in uh, base mode Okay, this is, I'm gonna use a handheld. Sorry, guys, it's it's just too big. So, so this is the base mode. Um, there's no instruction on how to hide the hands, so you know they're just sitting there. I'm gonna look again because I'm I'm hoping I'm mistaken, but I haven't seen it in the instructions. So you have the ramps and you know the command control here I guess I'm, I got this one uh, reversed you have the little guy mending the guns and then you have this here okay so there's no way to hide it but and they don't show it in the instruction but you do have a way to fold it better than just leaving them here you can open the, the hands and fold it over like this it's still kind of goofy, you know, it's not the greatest thing I've seen from Hasbro. Uh, but, uh, you know, the lights and sound stuff, that, that makes it up, it makes it okay. I mean, I've never had anything, you know, that made transforming sound, so I think that's pretty cool. So there you go, that's the uh, base mode. So now what I'm going to do is transform all of my bases and take one picture of all the bases connected just so that my son will stop talking about it and then after that I'm gonna come back and do the fight uh, I'm gonna take the picture and then come back to the finale uh, in robot mode we transformed you know we had the astral train base the uh, you know all the shields uh, you know hoist and lift ticket had all this uh, the guardian robot the uh, the rockets we have here the uh, you know tanks and Omega Supreme and we were all ready to connect them and then I realized it's not the same connector yeah all that worked for nothing learn from us all right so we're done with uh, this review I mean it's it we you know had to retransform everything it's a little little disappointing that Hasbro would just change connectors but I'm guessing that's a way to make people rebuy all of the same figures. You know, like a, a new blaster, a new this, a new that. So, you know, that's it, it sucks. But, I mean, I've just plugged in the, um, the head and, uh, you know. Come on, where is it? Ah, anyway, there it said Fortress Maximus. So I think that's really cool that I have one of those with lights and sound effect. I never had those 
as a kid. Well, the, not that I recall, and not for Transformers anyway. So to have this in my collection, that's fantastic. So, but I'm still going to go ahead and remove the batteries, you know, so for so that it don't uh, leak acid and stuff like that. So, um, in the end, I'm really happy with this guy. Uh, the base mode and the uh, robot, uh, the the platform mode or you know ship mode are a little cheesy, like you know I, but it's expected from huge titans. But I mean they look the part, so I can't uh, can't complain about that. Uh, so yeah, there you go. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like, subscribe, hit the bell. Also leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back after more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.